I am on my way to pick up Emily and Summer, and we will be heading to Smithfield, where Ridgeline plays uh, Skyview for their homecoming. Um, when I was in high school, Skyview was our biggest rivalry. I went to Mountain Crest, um, and then there was just Logan, but now there's Mountain Crest and Ridgeline and Logan and Skyview and Green Canyon, so I don't really know who the rivalries are anymore, but it'll be a good, big game because it's homecoming for Skyview. Also kind of a big game um, for our family just because um, Jaden used to coach at Skyview and Jackson uh, played his freshman year at Skyview before we moved back to Providence and he went back to Ridgeline. So, um, anyway, it should be a good game. Brandon is uh, on his way to Bear River where Logan plays um, against Bear River against their homecoming as well. So hopefully between the two of us we can keep you posted on what's happening tonight. Um, it's been a good season for both teams so far so hopefully we walk away with the W all the way around. Uh, but stay tuned and let's see how the night goes. Hey guys, we're here at Bear River High School. Tonight, Porter has a game and Jackson also has a game. Jackson's out at Skyview High School playing for Ridgeline. Porter's here at Bear River playing for Logan. On nights like tonight, Jill and I have to conquer and divide because we'd like to hit both games. So she'll be out at Skyview tonight cheering on Jackson. Jackson's got his game there. And I'll be here at Bear River cheering on Porter. Hoping we get wins on both teams. It would make me very happy for both uh, Jackson as well as Porter. It would... Um, Jackson's game's a little hard because I went to Skyview and that's where I went to high school. So I always cheer for my school, uh, my home school, but when your kid's playing against him, you got to cheer for the other um, the other team. Jackson also played his freshman year there. and So at least one of my kids did go to my high school. All the rest went to either Ridgeline or, uh, Ridgeline or Logan. So, anyways, hoping for a good game tonight. We'll keep you posted. Thank you. 
Porter is right behind the ref. The ref just walked out. And Porter just walked right back behind the ref. Porter got that tackle. That results in Riverhawks first down. If you catch an interception, you get to sit in that gold smoking chair. All right, boys, let's do something with it. Yeah. 
Going for two. Get in there, Jalen. We got our two. Take him down. Fair <laughs> River just scored. So with that kick, this quarter getting wrapped up. Jack's game, he's number one. Get him, Porter. Oh, shit. Oh, he started celebrating a little too early. Jimson keeping the ball for the Bears. No game on the play. Nice. Number four, Alan Carlos Burns with another Caldwell Banker.
So we are about seven years into the second half of the year. Colby, number one, Jackson Olson. Get him, Porter! Get him! Yeah! Take, woo! Good job, Porter! Well, this game just went a little worse. We just threw an interception. Guess we'll see what happens. One thing that's kind of interesting on Logan's team, I have Porter who plays and Maverick is a videographer for the team. And on Ridgeline, I have Jackson who plays, and Jordan's the photographer. So, kind of cool. I got two kids on each team doing something. And it looks like we got the football back, so that's good. That was not an interception, something happened. if I keep wandering up with the camera when I'm watching, I get a little excited and forget to make sure Let's the play's still in the camera. This is the team that's off the field. Maybe can go out. Okay, if nothing else, we can at least kick a field goal to tie it up. It's 42, Bear River, 39 for Logan. But we want to win this game. We don't want to just tie it up. Got to hold them for 50 seconds. If we tie it up, we go into overtime. Woo-hoo-hoo! 
the game. Porter, now that you just won the, caught the winning interception, where are you headed to? I'm headed to Disneyland. Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. All right, guys. I had to record this part in my truck because my battery died and I had to hurry and throw it on a cable to get some charge on it. But what an unbelievable, freaking awesome game that turned out to be. Um, first half we pretty much had it and then Bear River must have got their butt chewed or something at halftime because they came out and started playing and we had to earn every point from that part that point on and it kind of went back and forth they'd run a touchdown get ahead then we'd run a touchdown and get ahead then they'd run a touchdown and get ahead then we'd run a touchdown and get ahead and it just came down to whoever had the ball last there was 36 seconds left. Uh, Bear River got possession of the ball. They were down by four. And the next thing we know, there's 10 seconds added to the clock. The refs didn't ask for it. Whoever's running the clock at Bear River put it on. It, you can see it on the video, obviously, but um, somehow this clock person added another 10 seconds on. That made us more nervous because the way it was going, that's all they would need to score another touchdown. They were making their drive. The quarterback pulled back. He launched that uh, ball. He was throwing a rocket, and it went right into Porter's arms. He caught it, and I'll tell you what, my voice is raspy and hurting right now from screaming and cheering so loud, but total proud dad moment. Um, just, yeah, what a stud he saved Bear River from coming back to win that game and yeah it was just awesome and I, you, obviously you got to see that so I'm excited to hear how Jack did with his game I do know Jackson scored one of the first two touchdowns which happens every game it seems so couldn't be more proud of him either so it's awesome to have both boys playing so well I wish they played on the same team that way I could be at both games. Joe could be at both games, which would only be one game, I guess. But this is how it is, and this is what we have to do. Porter plays for Logan. Jackson plays for Ridgeline. So proud of both boys and what they're doing. We're proud of Jordan for being an awesome photographer and taking sweet pictures of the football players. And we're proud of Maverick for being such an awesome videographer. Uh, he's doing all the video shooting uh, for Logan High's football team. He put together an inspirational video uh, that they play before their game to help pump them and inspire them. And so just proud of all four of them and how well they're doing with the football season this year. So I'm gonna go home, hear the details on Jackson's game um tell jill the details on porter's game thanks for watching guys we're a football family um it's just fun to watch these boys play and who knows where it'll go from here in the future but uh song you say play for the dallas cowboys who cares right okay guys 
Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.